गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू जे सी ई कनेक्ट चैनल टूडे विल स्टडी सिंगल फेस फुल वेव कंट्रोल रेक्टिफायर विथ आर लोड टूडे विल स्टडी सिंगल फेस सिंगल फेस सिंगल फेस फुल वेव कंट्रोल रेक्टिफायर विथ आर लोड दिस इज ए सर्किट डाइग्राम हियर वी आर यूजिंग 230 थर्टी वोल्ट फिफ्टी हर्ट्स इनपुट सप्लाई टू थर्टी वोल्ट फिफ्टी हर्ट्स इनपुट सप्लाई हियर स्टेप डाउन ट्रांसफार्मर इज यूज दिस इज दी स्टेप डाउन ट्रांसफार्मर दिस इज द स्टेप डाउन ट्रांसफार्मर स्टेप डाउन ट्रांसफार्मर इज यूज एंड देन दिस इज थाइरिस्टर वन एंड दिस इज थाइरिस्टर टू एक्रॉस द लोड आर द आउटपुट वोल्टेज इज मेजर विच इज वी नॉट how the circuit operation is this point i will assume as a this point as b this point as c here we are applying input signal as ac to 30 volt 50 hertz ac signal which is shown here input this is the input step down is given so that it is reduced to say 30 0 30 volt here i'll be getting say example 30 center tap transformer is used example i may get here 30 0 30 during positive half cycle how the circuit operation is we are seeing during negative half cycle how the circuit operation is during the positive half cycle till we apply the this gate pulse vg till we apply this gate pulse vg scr t1 is off no current flows so output voltage v not is zero as soon as this trigger pulse vg is applied this scr turns on path of the current is from a t1 r and then c this terminal is positive this terminal is negative path of the current is a t1 r and then c that output voltage is shown here we will derive mathematically also how much is edc how much is this edc now during the negative half cycle means here this is a negative half cycle this b is positive and c is negative till we apply the gate pulse vg this thyristor is t2 is off when it is off output voltage this is again zero here for the negative half cycle as soon as this trigger pulse is applied to t2 t2 turns on it allows the current to flow path of the current is from b t2 r and then c which is shown here this much this is the output voltage which is shown here for the positive half, half cycle this much for the negative half cycle this much accordingly the idc is also shown like this for the positive half cycle idc is shown here for the negative half cycle we know that thyristor behavior is what when this is thyristor is off here thyristor t1 is off here when this is off across thyristor input voltage is observed here also thyristor is off so here also the input voltage is observed across the thyristor this is the vt1 and vt2 now we will derive mathematically edc and idc irms edc is given by 1 upon 2 pi dc output voltage 1 upon 2 pi integration alpha to pi em sin omega t into d omega t now here em is constant so it is taken out so i will be having em by pi em by pi em by pi integration alpha to pi because alpha to pi only alpha to pi only our output is there alpha to pi only our output is there so only it is integration is from alpha to pi only for half one half cycle we have taken from 0 to pi so 1 upon pi output is there only from alpha to pi output is there from alpha to this alpha to pi sin omega t d omega t integration of sin omega t is minus cos omega t and if we substitute the minus is taken out minus em by pi minus em by pi cos of pi minus cos alpha cos pi is minus 1 minus cos alpha and this minus minus becomes plus em by pi into 1 plus cos alpha 
if i want to find for when alpha is 0 maximum output voltage is obtained when alpha is 0 means complete output voltage is obtained like this when alpha angle is there this is the output voltage this kind will get like this way and alpha we have when alpha is 0 this kind of output voltage is maximum when alpha is 0 edc maximum is if i substitute here cos alpha cos 0 is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 2 em by pi next we will see idc idc is given by the formula edc upon r edc we have calculated em by pi into 1 plus cos alpha by r or 1 upon r into 1 em by pi into 1 plus cos alpha this is idc next we will go for erms next we will go for erms erms means what rms is root mean square this is the root 1 upon 2 root mean and then square root mean square root mean square so here em is constant so em square is taken out em square is taken out by pi into integration alpha to pi output voltage is there sin square theta is 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2 so 1 minus cos 1 minus cos 2 omega t by 2 into d omega t raised to half em square upon 2 is also constant it is taken out em square upon 2 pi integration of 1 is omega t integration of cos is sin 2 omega t by 2 integration is from alpha to pi raised to half so it is em square upon 2 pi if I substitute for omega t upper limit as pi and the lower limit as alpha, I will be getting pi minus alpha. Omega t you substitute pi minus alpha minus half is taken out sin 2 pi minus 2 alpha raised to half. And then em square upon 2 pi into minus is taken out. So we will be having pi minus alpha plus sin 2 alpha by 2 em. Uh, square is completely if it is gone, gone out em into bracket pi minus alpha upon 2 pi plus sin 2 alpha upon 4 pi raised to half this is ERMS next we will take single phase single phase full wave control rectifier with RL load previous was with R load previous was with R load now we will take with this R and L load so it is RL load rest all is same now how the output voltage differs rest all the AC supply transformer thyristors two thyristors are same we are extra here inductor will come in the picture in series with the resistor how the circuit operation is during positive half cycle <coughs> during positive AC supply is applied again here also 230 volt AC supply here is given step down transformer is used here I will be getting here say 3030 step uh, this is the set type transformer during the positive half cycle this point A is positive with respect to point C till we apply the gate pulse during the positive half cycle in the graph till we apply this gate pulse thyristor T1 is off so output voltage is 0 here now as soon as this trigger pulse is applied thyristor T1 turns on path of the current is A thyristor T1 R L and C so this output voltage is observed this inductor stores the energy this inductor stores the energy during the negative half cycle till we apply this thyristor t2 trigger pulse this inductor this inductor whatever energy is stored it continues to flow through thyristor t1 so this is the inductor stored energy this is the inductor stored energy this is the energy as soon as this thyristor t2 is triggered Current flows through for the negative half cycle B, thyristor T2, R, L and then C. This output voltage is observed. Again inductor stores the energy. Till we apply for the positive half cycle the gate pulse to T1, this inductor will make the thyristor T2 to be conducting. So this signal is obtained. This is the inductor stored energy. So our current will be there always. And these are the voltage across thyristor 1 here thyristor 1 is off so input signal here it is on till here and again it is off so input signal here thyristor t2 is on so we will be having like this way and here it is off means input signal here it is off means input signal 
This is the operation of single phase full wave control rectifier with RL load. I'll repeat once again the circuit operation. During positive half cycle, A is positive with respect to C till we apply the gate pulse to T1. The resistor T1 is off. As soon as the tape pulse is applied, current flows through A, T1, R, L and then C. This is the output voltage. Inductor stores the energy during the negative half cycle till thyristor T2 is triggered. Stored energy in the inductor will continue to flow through thyristor T1 and R. This is the inductor stored energy. As soon as this T2 is triggered during negative half cycle, the negative half cycle B is positive with respect to C. Path of the current is from B, T2, R, L and then C. So this is the which is shown here for the negative half cycle this output voltage is obtained. Now we will derive mathematically how much is EDC. One half cycle is taken so 1 upon pi. This is 1 upon pi. Integration alpha to pi plus alpha it is conducting because this is alpha the output voltage is there from alpha to pi plus alpha output voltage is there from alpha to pi plus alpha this is say alpha and this point say pi plus this point say pi plus alpha so only integration limit is from alpha to pi plus alpha em sin omega t sin signal which is mathematically em sin omega t into d omega t em is constant so it is taken out by pi integration sin in sin integration is minus cos omega t limit is from alpha to pi plus alpha cos minus sin you take out minus em upon minus em upon pi cos of upper limit is pi plus alpha minus lower limit is cos alpha cos of pi plus alpha is minus cos alpha minus cos alpha minus 2 cos alpha minus minus is plus so em upon pi 2 cos alpha or 2 em by pi cos alpha the next operation is single phase full wave control rectifier with RL load using freewheeling diode now. I have the here in the waveform uh, this signal now. This signal if I want to remove that can be removed. This wave in the inductor uh, stored energy if I want to remove this I will go for freewheeling diode. If I want to remove this I will go for freewheeling diode which is the next operation which is this is a freewheeling diode this is the freewheeling diode df df is the freewheeling diode now again here here also ac supply is used which is uh, 230 volt 230 volt 50 hertz ac supply this is step down transformer this is point a point c and this is point b during positive half cycle A is positive with respect to C till we apply the th trigger pulse to this thyristor it is off so output voltage here is 0 as soon as the trigger pulse is applied to thyristor T1 this trigger pulse is applied to thyristor T1 it conducts path of the current is from A thyristor T1 R L and then C output voltage is observed here now energy is stored in the inductor that energy is nullified through the freewheeling diode whatever energy is there which is nullified through the freewheeling diode so here we will not be having any sort of signal here we will not be having here any sort of signal during negative half cycle as soon as the gate pulse is applied to t2 t2 turns on the path of the current is negative half cycle b is positive with respect to c path of the current is b t2 r l and then c so this is the output voltage energy stored in the inductor is nullified through this freewheeling diode so idc is the current now we'll derive only the thing is that inductor energy which is stored which is nullified through the freewheeling diode energy stored in the inductor is nullified through the this freewheeling diode which is this is the freewheeling diode df the freewheeling diode here is the this is df now we will see the mathematical derivation the average load voltage edc now output voltage is there only from alpha to pi here output voltage is there here output voltage is there only from alpha to pi so integration is 
integration is integration is edc is equals to 1 upon pi 1 cycle alpha to pi because output is there from alpha to pi for 1 half cycle this is sine wave em sin omega t mathematically written d omega t em is constant so taken out em by pi uh, sin integration is minus cos omega t minus is taken out em by pi cos upper limit is pi minus cos alpha minus em by pi cos pi is minus 1 minus cos alpha minus minus is plus em by pi into 1 plus cos alpha thank you